good YouTube. It's Jones and TV coming at y'all with a new video. Today I got up from what's it Tuesday? Two days ago or three days ago? Saturday. Um I don't know if you guys know, you guys probably do, but um it's the hair sevens. Here's the box. I actually got a size eight because um I feel like the sevens run big in my opinion. I always go down. I'm gonna start going down half a size. This size works perfect. The color code is 125 and the colors are white, true red, light silver, and I don't know what the last one is. Yeah, retail is 190. Here's the here's the paper. Same paper as always. Came with a retro card, which is dope. I got two of them. I probably shouldn't have got two, but I did. My receipt, foot locker, and that's it. So, here's the shoe, man. I've been waiting for these for forever. I've been waiting for these shoes. I don't know. I don't know how long I've been waiting for it, honestly. But it's been a long time. I'm, this is a great example of why you should wait to get shoes. Like, don't buy shoes that you really want, that you know may come out in the future. You can get them again. Um, like with this one, I was thinking about buying on eBay or something. I actually even bought the Year of the Rabbit 7s because they reminded me so much of the hairs, um, which was intentional. If you get it, Hair 7, Year of the Rabbit, Rabbit's a hair, they go together. So. Um, it'd be dope if I had both of them, but that size, that shoe was actually a size 10. Um, as you know, I was buying my shoes bigger back then, and those were huge. I had to sell them. Finally got these done. This is the one I really wanted anyway. Um, this shoe's gorgeous, though. That suede, or that nubuck, really short hair nubuck is really nice. Changes It changes colors on the suede, or on the material. Um, the, the leather up here is nice, too. It's really soft around the collar. And then the back, it's got the purple, two, three, the red and black. And I just realized, I mean, from a marketing standpoint, how Jordan Brand got away with making this um, wearable. Cause I was looking at it, I was like, how did Michael Jordan, how was he able to wear these on court? And I realized the white and gray, that's, that's, that's um, it can, the gray symbolizes Bugs Bunny, but then like the white, it's just like a normal a normal color on the shoe. And together it can be the hair colorway. Like it looks like a bunny sort of. Um, so that's how they got away with it for that standpoint. But as far as him wearing on the court, the red hits and also the black, subtle black hits on the shoe. Um, like on the bottom too. And as well as like this whole midsole area right here is like an all bold midsole. There's like nothing colorful about it just with the black, white, and red. The red logo. So yeah, man, these are, man, these are fire. They're comfortable too. Um, this midsole, if you feel it compared to your other retro from like 2013, 2014, um, you can see how much softer this midsole is. It's really, really comfortable. But yeah, man, I already wore these. I should have um, waterproofed them before I did, but I'm waterproof from right after I'm done with this video. So yeah, man, let me know if you guys got these. And this is, uh, we were talking about how this is like the hype release or not the hype release, like, you know, the mid-year crazy release. Um, like, last year it was the, uh, oh, Carmine 6s. And then the year before that, it was Great 5s. Um, so, like, this, like, mid-area, like, towards May, June area is, like, really, really... It has this really hyped-up middle shoe, and then this holds you over until the 11. So, I feel like the hair was the one. Um, yeah, man, that's it. Uh, like I said, let me know if you guys got these. Oh, yeah, and also... Nike Air on the insole, just to hype things up a little more, Jordan said. <laughs> just to go ahead and turn up the hype a little bit, um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the Nike Air on there. So yeah, if that isn't an incentive to get you hype beast to get these shoes, I'm sure it'll be now. But again, I got this shoe because of, I love it. I've been waiting for the shoe for forever. I'm happy I finally got it. And um, yeah, man, that's it. So make sure you guys rate, subscribe, comment. Rate, subscribe, comment, like. Subscribe and comment. Uh, yeah, like I said, let me know if you get these. What's your next shoe? I think my next shoe will probably be 
Oh, the Chicago ones is what I really want. No, no. The Kobe 10, white on white, that comes out this Thursday. I'm getting those. I really want those. That's my first Kobe 10, too. So make sure you stay tuned for that video, too. And that's it, man. Peace. All I gotta do is put my mind to this shit. Goddamn. Cancel out my ex, I put a line through that bitch. I like all my asses with two lines through them shits. Everybody tryna fuck you, but I'm fine with that shit. I never mind, girl, that's just you. I know you work hard for your shit. You know they gon' hate, just don't play no part in that shit. They should call me James, cause I'm going hard in this bitch. We're just so much smarter than them. Maybe I just needed you.